Hello friends, it's Monday again. It's good to be with you on this 23rd day of January and I want to jump right into it today. Let me introduce myself. My name is Melissa Ebkin. I'm the pastor of the churches, Christian churches in Iliopolis and Niantic. I'm the founder of Light Life and Love Ministries. This is an outreach effort for those who don't have a church home or who are spiritual or not and not religious or still searching for that perfect connection. I'm also the host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast. Today, this is the most important thing I've done. I want to talk to you today about the one thing you can do that will change things for you. We are in the topic of forgiveness for this month of January. Today is about forgiving yourself. This is a foundational, fundamental act that you can take. If you do nothing else, watch this video and take this action. It's not going to be instantaneous. It's going to take some time, but you can do the homework today <clears throat> that will set you up for it. Once you do this, it's going to open you up to so many more possibilities. It's going to uh, give you a new understanding of yourself. It's going to give you a new understanding of other people and other relationships. As I said, this is the most important spiritual work that you can do. It's even going to open up your relationship with God. So let's get to it. And this is forgiving yourself. We each have that thing, or maybe more than one, that we would never want another human being to know about ourselves. We each have that. It doesn't make us a bad person. It doesn't make us anything else. It just makes us human. As humans, we have something that we want to stay buried, that we want to stay hidden. When we can forgive that about ourselves, it will change us fundamentally. It's not easy. It's hard. But it is so worth it. The payoff for this work will multiply in your life. Here's how to do it. And here's how I did it in my life. It's, you might have a different process, but I'm going to tell you what worked for me and how it changed for me and how I experienced it. First, find that one thing. What's that one thing you would never want another human being to know about you? This is just between you and higher power. Nobody else has to know about it, unless you want them to later. But identify what that thing is. And then spend a little time thinking about what in your life brought that about. I don't mean the events in your life. I mean the basic need of your soul that brought you to that moment. Such as, you know, the soul has many needs to be connected, to be loved, to be valued, to be heard. What was it in that event or in that moment that your soul found and needed? Was it a connection where you felt valued as a human being? Was it a connection where you felt you finally belonged somewhere? Was there something about that event or that moment that made you feel heard or fully human? What was it about that event that met a fundamental need of the soul? Mull it around in your mind and you'll know when you get it because this is really important. This is the key to this process. Identify what your soul found in that moment that it needed, that it had lacked before. Once you find that, you'll feel a little something inside. You'll feel something in your mind or in your body or in your soul. We're all different, but all of those things are connected within us. I felt something lift in my heart. There was something that just clicked into place like a lock that was being undone or or a combination lock that just where the tumblers fell where they were supposed to go that's what i felt you might feel something different 
but you will know intrinsically when you have hit upon that need for your soul in that act. Once you do that, spend a little time with it. Because here's the thing, it was a need for your soul. The person you were in that moment, give that person some credit. They got you to that point in life and beyond that point in life. That person you were in that moment that you're not proud of, that you don't want to acknowledge, you need to thank that person for getting you through. That person brought you to where you are today. Now here's the tedious and hard part. Once you understand what was really happening on the most basic level in your heart, mind, and spirit, when you understand that your soul was craving something that it finally found, it's like when, you need, when you're starving, you're going to eat food. When it's cold, you are going to seek shelter. Your soul was lacking something and that moment fulfilled it. So don't judge yourself, suspend the judgment and just see how your soul got what it needed for that moment. And then in my experience, what I had to do is I had to just sit with it for days. Uh, anytime I was still and not working, I would just sit with it and it felt icky. It just felt uncomfortable and awkward and I sat with that. I felt embarrassed even though I was in the room all by myself and I sat with it. Every time I was by myself when I wasn't working, when I wasn't otherwise occupied, I sat with that in the awkwardness. Eventually, one day, I was just done with it and I felt a release. I felt a lightness, a physical lightness in my body. That's how it happened for me. I know that it happens in similar ways for other folks, but I promise you, if you do this, if you identify what that is in your life, that your most, I, I hate to use the word shame, Maybe that's appropriate in the situation, but shame gets us nowhere. It's an emotion that's completely useless, that keeps us imprisoned. So if that's what you're feeling, then you really need to do this even more urgently. But find that one thing in your life and do this process. Understand what was at stake for your soul, what your soul was crying out for and what need was met in that moment. And then sit with the uncomfortable awkwardness, with that uncomfortable, icky feelings. Just sit with it. Continue to sit with it. And eventually you will feel it release. You will feel your body. Just let it, it'll, it will go. And you'll, when you look back upon the event in the future, you're going to feel differently about it. So thank that person, that former version of yourself that got you to and through that moment to this day. And then tell her or tell him that you've got it from here. Friends, this isn't fun work, but it is so vital to our spiritual health. If you can do this, I guarantee you, you will be capable of so many other things. Spiritual opportunities will be available to you that weren't before. Your ability to communicate with God and to be present with God will be affected profoundly. The way you view others and your ability to forgive others and to be in a relationship with others will be affected profoundly. If you do nothing else, do this exercise. If you want support, you know where to find me. Find, reach out to me on Messenger. Send me a message. Find me wherever and however, and I will give you the encouragement I can in order for you to complete this work. So that's what I have for you today, friends, and please do this. Let me know the difference it makes for you. Bye for now.